Let's take a look at some of the individual movers here. Pioneer shares, we got to talk about that. A huge move on reports that ExxonMobil is moving closer to potentially buy the shale drill. It's according to various media reports. You're looking at a jump of nearly 8%. Now, the takeover could be up to $60 billion and could be ready to close in the next several days. Now, this would be Exxon's largest deal since its mega merger back in the 90s and would also make the oil and gas company the main player in the oil-rich West Texas and New Mexico area here. And Brad, we know that the Permian Basin has long been a priority here for ExxonMobil. They talked about the region, how it is critical, very important here to potential growth plans going forward. Now, this deal from Exxon, if in fact it does go through, it makes sense given the timing, right? Exxon, many of the larger oil giants coming off a record year for yeah. profits. They have a lot of excess money. They're looking to put it to work. And many analysts out there are saying that there's not a heck of a lot of options beyond going out there and acquiring some of the smaller players within the space. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, consolidation is one of the things that we were continuing to keep in focus, especially if there were some buying opportunities that the major behemoths, Chevron, Exxon, were going to perhaps kick the tires on, or at least kick the drills on here and figure out if they could, I'm sorry, I know that was corny, but see if they could potentially acquire more market share either through regionality or just through operations as well. It's interesting, Pioneer uh, looks like it has a market capitalization of roughly $50 billion uh, coming into these deal talks here. It's a larger question of, okay, where in these consolidation efforts would this deal and how quickly accretive would it be, not just to Exxon's business, but what type of synergies uh, would they be eventually able to sell and market to the street here as the company that typically is making the announcement of an acquisition, even though these are just talks right now, you typically see them moving lower. That's exactly what's taking place with Exxon shares. This morning, XOM is down by about 2%.